process costing report. We're doing average costing and using problem P2 as an example. So far we've done step one, account for your physical units, and that's the same whether I'm doing FIFO or average costing. Then we did step two, which is different from FIFO, isn't it? Because here in average costing, we looked at our total equivalent units. In other words, our total efforts, whether they happened in the current period or in previous periods. And we've come up with the equivalent units of effort. Step three is, uh, says account for your costs. So as a manager, I know that my beginning inventory uh, has $8,142 of costs. Some of those costs have to do with materials. Some of those costs have to do with labor and overhead. So those costs are the same. Started, we started $122,243 of cost. So as a manager, I am accountable for a total of $130,385 in my department, in my WIP account. Now, when I look at how much of those costs are associated with materials, notice I'm going to find, this time, the total material cost. And that total material cost includes beginning 4607 plus current material cost of 71108 to give me the total cost for materials of 75715 Likewise, under average costing, I'm going to find the total cost of conversion. So the beginning of 3535 for labor and overhead, plus the current labor and overhead cost of 51135 gives me the total cost for conversion of 54670 That's step three. Step four. Now, this is important. We're going to find the total cost for the total equivalent units. Remember under FIFO, it was the current cost for the current equivalent units. So this is the big difference. Total cost, total effort. So to do that, the numerator's total cost. Well, all I have to do, again, is look up. The total cost for materials is 75715 the total cost for conversion, look up, is 54670 Total equivalent units of effort, I look up to total equivalent units for material, 65550 And for conversion, look up, 63850 uh, so now when I find my cost per equivalent unit under average costing for materials, it's not a pretty number, is it? So it comes to about a dollar and, uh, and 15 and a half cents. For conversion, again, not a pretty number, it comes to 85 uh, and whatever, 0.856. And again, these are both rounded, so they're not precise, are they? Now you're saying, well, how much do I round to? Generally, we take it out three places and round back to two. Um, in this problem, I'm just going to leave it out at three, but you could round back to two and you'll be fine. So that's step three, account for your cost, and step four, find your total cost for your total equivalent units for materials and for conversion. Now for step five.